The First Book to Read by Pastor Cornelius R. Stam. In years gone by, when life was simpler, men had more time to ponder over the really important questions, what will become of me when I die? Is there a heaven, and a hell? Can I know God? Will he forgive my sins? If so, on what basis? What must I do to be saved? The materialism, commercialism and technology of our day, however, have so complicated life that secondary problems hinder many people from even considering at leisure that which is most important. Yet, despite all the hurry and anxiety, all the noise and distraction, there are troubled souls, hungering and thirsting for true satisfaction, for hearts cleansed from sin, for deliverance from the awful burden of a guilty conscience. Such people should read Paul's epistle to the Romans and meditate on its great message of salvation. In fact, this is the first book they ought to read. In Romans the inspired apostle declares that, all have sinned, 323, and that, the wages of sin is death, 623. But this is not all. Romans also proclaims the good news that the Lord Jesus Christ, was delivered for our offenses, and was raised again for our justification, and that therefore we may have, peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, 425, 5, 1. More than this, Romans offers abundant grace to all who trust in Christ. The law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded grace did much more abound, 520, 21. Thus believers are, justified freely by, God's grace, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, 324, and, the, free, gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, 623. We urge those who are not sure of salvation to read carefully and prayerfully this great epistle to the Romans. You may be thanking God for the rest of your earthly life, and forever, that you did.